So here in Weymouth, in a couple of days, they're going to be doing the pandemonium meeting at the Centenary Club. Um, I know I said for ages that I wouldn't go. Well, I made up my mind to go this morning. But I found that after making that decision, it just blew wide open all my old temptations. You know, it's like people think because you're into Crowley, you have to be into demons, but it's not necessarily the case. You know, there are there are other spiritual groups apart from just Christians that are on the right hand path. Now, I get a bit angry, like they seem to think that because they might have read some Crowley and I've read some Crowley, that therefore I have a duty to go to this meeting. But to be honest, it's just going to open up the doors wide. The doors of temptation are going to be opened up wide. And um, I can't be bothered with it, you know. I, mean, I don't think the Abbey of Philema has much to do with full-on demons. I don't see what Liberash has to do with demonology or the Gnostic Mass or Liber Is Israfel or Liber 963. You know, you have to remember that demons, a lot of demons, I, mean, I could talk about demons, I never actually met something that I would call a demon. But as far as demons are thought forms in the human mind are concerned, you know, you have to remember that they're not necessarily the friends of hum of humanity. You know, these demons probably hate people. They hate people. I don't think it's got much to do with the Abbey of Thelema at all. You can't have an Abbey of Thelema on a, a cliff edge with a pandemonium basement under under the ground. You can't have your cake and eat it. You know, I don't owe these people anything. I haven't sworn any blood oaths to any of them. You know, I'm just getting a bit miffed because they, they seem to think they can just summon me up to go along to this meeting. And it is, as far as I'm concerned, extremely dark. It's not just Christians that are on the right hand path, you know, but these entities seem to think that because you're not a Christian, that they can just unleash any kind of animos animosity towards you that they think is acceptable because you're not a Christian. You see what I mean? Um, yeah, I made up my mind to go to the, I thought to myself, you know, like I had a moral obligation to go to this group because we're all into magic, quote unquote, you know. But I, I don't have to go. And then, but the thing is, the moment I made up my mind to go to this pandemonium thing, half an hour later, I was on the phone trying to get in touch with an escort, which is a temptation that I've been trying to overcome, along with not smoking alcohol, sorry, not smoking tobacco, not drinking alcohol, not taking drugs. One of, one of my other vices is to see escorts. You know, I'm not. I'm not afraid to admit that because it's not against the law in this country. But um, so yeah, it opened up the doors of temptation really wide for me, and I don't want to be tempted. You know, I am into Crowley, yeah, but I don't worship demons, believe it or not. All the semantics are unfortunate, you know. I mean, the, the word demon probably means different things to different people at different times, in different ways. But ultimately, I don't think the Abbey of Flema has much to do with full-on demonic worship. Read the Gnostic Mass. Read Liber Rash. Read Liber Israfel. And read Thesaurus Edenon. And decide for yourself if that is worshipping demons. Because I don't think it is. I'm a, I'm a bit miffed because they think they can just call me up, go to the meeting or whatever, and you know they want to get in touch with me. I'm on Facebook as Pyramidatus. I'm on Facebook. 
they can call me up. But I don't owe these people anything. Okay? In fact, they owe me £100 for the ticket, which they won't refund, they said. They said it was too late to refund. I mean, yeah, I'm all for free speech, you know? We, we do have free speech in this country. But free speech doesn't mean compulsory listening, and it certainly doesn't mean freedom from criticism. You know, I tried six times today to find an escort, six different times, and I was just totally ignored. You know, I mean, one of them, the one that I finally was going to see, ended up. Um, Trying to rip me off, basically. Trying to rip me off a hundred quid. You know? That's what the pandemonium thing does for me. It just opens up temptation. I don't want to be tempted. I'm trying my best. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't take drugs. I hardly ever see escorts. You know, I'm trying my best to be on the right-hand path. Um, you, you can't have an Abbey of Thelema on the top of a hill with a pandemonium basement downstairs. It just doesn't happen. And just because Seth Salem's into Crowley and I'm into Crowley doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to gel or, or mash, you know. I'm not attacking anyone. It, you know, it's not my job to judge people. You know, it, it's up to God to judge you at the end of the day. Um... And yeah, I'll probably be on my own for a bit longer, you know. I've spent 12 years alone. I've spent 12 years alone reading books. And I'm happy enough, you know. I don't need... I don't need company. I don't crave company as such, you know. And... um. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not against free speech. We do have free speech in this country. But like I said, that doesn't mean you have to listen. And if these people want to get in touch with me, they can they can send me a message on Facebook. I'm not hiding from anyone. I'm not a hidden node. I'm not hiding from anyone. I mean, it makes me wonder, like, you know, pretty dark subjects. I'm not, I'm not sure what advanced glyphotic astrology is, to be honest. But, um, and it's not hatred. I don't really hate anyone. I just think it's a shame, you know. But the one thing I know about demons, like, is that they're very, very patient and they will wait until you are at your weakest before they pounce. They take their time, they're insidious, you know. And demons aren't necessarily your friend. You know, they probably hate people. They have a hatred for humanity. Love is the law, love underworld. The will to love is the law to live. Do what thou wilt should be the whole of the law. Love and do what thou wilt. Unconditional love. You see? It's not necessarily, like, the, the Goetia, for instance. I, I tried to see the Goetia once. At Halloween, must have been, I don't know, at least 15 years ago. I tried doing it once. And I tried summoning a demon. And I had the circle. I had the triangle of art. I had the incense, the robe, the necklace, the wand. And it didn't work. It didn't work. But yeah, I mean, fair enough. Have a pandemonium meeting. But all that's going to happen is that, you know, it's almost inevitably going to involve drinking drugs. It's, they're probably all going to be going out for cigarettes, you know. That they're going to be listening to a, a lecture, going out for a cigarette, coming back. And it's just like, it's just a bit of a shame, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm waffling on a bit now. But anyway, uh, I just sort of 
put that straight, 10 minutes.